G'day everyone. I'm just standing here on the banks of the river waiting for my best mate Sandy Hector to rock up so that we can go fishing. I'm here first, I've got my kayak ready to go. It only took about five minutes. So I just thought that while I'm waiting for him, I might just run through a few of the features of my kayak. This kayak is made by Safari H2O and the model is the Murray. And this is my brand new boat. Up until last week I had a red boat. Now, in the back here it's got this removable storage compartment. You can see it's got the rubber lid. Put that on there and that keeps it watertight. In there at the moment I've got my thongs, I've got a spare shirt, some air guard, uh, my, my water bottle, my water purifier bottle and just a few other odds and ends. It's then got one of these clip-on seats which are very popular in a lot of different kayak designs. They have four clips and they clip on and they're actually very comfortable. You've got to get the good quality seats when you buy the seats. The small flimsy ones are no good for your back. The Murray has two rod holders at the back here. So you can have two rods sticking out the back when you're paddling out of the way. And it's got two here at the front which is where I've got my, my rod. One there and one on this side. And that is for when you're actively fishing and you're just moving around slowly and fishing and casting. Then when you want to move from spot to spot you place them into these back rod holders. It's got these small little compartments which are designed to flip up like that. They might hold a pair of pliers or in my case usually a Ventil and an asthma puffer. It's got the straps here to hold your tackle box into place so if you tip over it doesn't fall out. And it's even got a lanyard built in so that you can clip that onto your tackle box. Or well, this model actually comes with a small white tackle box where you can clip it onto anything you want to clip it onto that you don't want to tip out. I've just got my pliers and my fish grip sitting there. Underneath the tackle box is the front one of the storage compartments. In there I've got some sunscreen, my deeper fish finder, my little compact waterproof camera and my asthma puffer. And my car keys I believe are in there, so, oh no they're in the back sorry. My car keys are in the back here. The Murray has a lot of storage space. There's my life jacket, my PDF, I'm sorry, PFD1 bum bag life jacket. Up here it's got adjustable foot stirrups as well as the moulded footsteps for people with different lengths, different length legs. I often put my feet leaning the heel there and the toe there and that actually gives you greater power when you're paddling. The more you can rest your feet up against, the more leverage you can get when you're paddling. Up the front here it has the elastic straps to stick things underneath and it has another waterproof storage compartment. So this is the Murray by Safari H2O. Safari H2O have a cheaper alternative. They have what's called the Safari H2O Safari Plus. The Safari Plus is basically the little brother of the Murray. It's great for teenagers, it's a great family kayak for swimming, swimming and fishing, and it's good for smaller adults and it's good for ladies. But the Murray, which is this one, is great for bigger blokes like myself. And it's great for extended trips, like overnight trips. It's got this storage space at the back here under the elastic. This waterproof compartment is fantastic, and I usually take that out and put an esky in. <laughs> it's great for putting an esky in. So there we have it, the Safari H2O, the Murray, built for big boys. And Safari H2O have the Safari Plus, which is a similar design, but it's quite a bit smaller. It's great for teenagers and for smaller adults and, and for ladies. There you go. Now, as soon as the camo man gets here, I'm going to christen my new boat.